orchard at the Goa Heritage Centre now. And um, in this particular orchard, in uh, you're in Park Mill, uh, we've got a, a, a variety of apples, mainly cider apples, which are um, Dabinet, Yallington Mill and Kingston Black. This uh, particular orchard is uh, it's well shielded by the cold uh, winds uh, in the Park Mill Valley. Uh, we believe it's like a, a little microclimate here, which uh, definitely helps these apple trees. We're in September now, which is, uh, we're coming up to uh, harvest season, and uh, we're ready uh, to pick the apples and uh, start pressing. So uh, a couple of ways to try in the apples is um, basically making sure they're ready is by cutting the apple open and making sure the pips are dark inside. If the pips are white, they're not ready. And another way is to press your thumb into the apple and if it just leaves an indentation there, you know the apples are ready. I myself, hmm. I try the apples and they're definitely really nice and juicy. There's nothing added to it the cider we make here. It's uh, fermented in its own wild gawa yeast and natural sugars. And then it'll be an, a nice long fermentation in the oak casks. So again, sticking with tradition, we put, it, put the uh, cider or the apple juice into uh, uh, wooden barrels. There's no um, transportation or, or lorries or anything like that. It's, it's basically wheeled in a wheelbarrow from here to the mill and then it stays on site uh, as pressed on site, it's fermented on site and uh, the cider makers drink it on site. Buckskin tried to run him down, but the stranger was too quick. He stepped aside and threw his arms around the horse's neck. And he threw himself upon the back of the horse they called the brute. Set like he was born there in his continental suit. Okay, here we are at the Gower Heritage Centre. We've uh, harvested all the apples uh, from the orchard, the mill orchard. And uh, we've been busy washing all the apples over the last couple of days. And now is the time for pressing. It's the big press day. And this is why we celebrate the pressing with um, our uh, October Cider Festival. And there's plenty of music involved in that as well, which is really important. So now the apples have been washed, we will be putting it into this machine here, which is um, a, a electric uh, scrutting machine. Um, Bruce hind end was in the air, his front end on the ground. Kicking and a squealing, trying to shake the stranger down. But the stranger didn't give an inch, he came to ride the brute. And he came to ride the buckskin in a continental suit. Now, next step with the pulp, um, we place it in Essian sacks uh, and wrap it up into parcels with uh, um, uh, slats, wooden slats. So, uh, so you put one slat first and then the um, hessian sack full of this apple pulp and then we put another wooden slat on the top and it's called building the cheese. And then when we finally built up to about eight or nine, ten even high, but then we start um, um, basically putting the weight of the uh, press onto the cheese. And that's done by hand and it's really hard work. This is how we've got a good team around us to do this. We wind the uh, wheel down and put in over a ton of weight onto the cheese. The juice will run uh, through the bottom of the press into bucket. I personally think this is the part where everybody really looks forward to, where the juice is uh, uh, finally uh, running from through the press into the bucket and then everyone's waiting around to try the juice. A she flew on the hills to the beautiful side of the There were dark black and yellow and dark black and white She took the black man to try them once more Oh, it was the last land to the hills of the war In a field that we stubble so 
once everybody have tasted the juice and uh, we've got a good idea um, how the uh, cider is going to uh, turn out, especially with uh, the uh, sweetness in the apple. The simple process now is to put it into the barrel, so it goes into 100% juice into an oak barrel. Now this is where all the magic works in the barrel. This beautiful golden juice that's quite cloudy will start working wonders in this barrel. 100% juice in the barrel, natural yeast, sugar, and then the magic happens and turns this amazing apple juice into cider. Nobody knows, nobody sees, nobody knows. Thank you.